So it's good for them because they always thought it was cute. Naming a generation Gen Z and say, yeah, Gen Z is against this. And they promoted the Gen Z. Now, Gen Z is not with the brutality. So they're going to stand up against uh, American funding of Israel. It's not like it's not like the people is not supporting Israel. They're just not supporting the genocide and the starvation of the Palestinian people and the torture of the Palestinian people. Everybody understand what Hamas did. Nobody support Hamas. I know people are yelling that because they are being emotional, but nobody support Hamas. So interestingly, they calling things anti-Semitic. How you gonna call things anti-Semitic when 30 to 40% of the protesters are Jewish and are neocon Catholics who um parents are pro-Israel. So these are the parents of the politicians and the supporters of Israel. These are their kids. I personally feel like this. Israel is playing a dangerous game because because they are about to lose the support of America, even if it's not now, it's going to be in the future. And um, basically, they are, it's bigger than just, oh, Israel and land. They want to um, evict them so they can build settlements there. They making that clearly. And then, the Arab nations is not going to have it, so the war can last for decades. Then it's like, yo, oh, man, it's all America fought because all America got to say is we not back in Israel, and Israel was stopped in atrocities. But they won't because they got all of these PACs and all of these lobby groups in America, and they run the congressmen because they want that money. They get paid more from the arm. Um, from the um, lobby groups, then they get their actual salaries. So these politicians is out here fighting for sponsorship money, and they don't give a damn about how many Palestinian kids getting killed or how many people are starving and how big this conflict can get. You know what I mean? So um, this is just my opinion. Now, nobody support Hamas. But y'all making people understand why Hamas was doing what they was doing. One thing the old age is used to is they used to jumping on the news 
and making these statements and thinking everybody is going to go along with that, but they don't understand that people get their information from social media. So that's why they're trying to put all these bans and all these restrictions and all of this stuff on social media because social media is speaking the truth and people is getting their facts off of their apps other than these news networks and these congress people because these congress people and these news networks are basically all in the pocket of whoever interest is paying them or whoever's paying their networks. They're not interested in the truth no more. So... It's just so bad that the Democrats and the Republicans can't stand up and put Israel under control. It's time, y'all.